Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to give you my first impressions of Magic, the final member of the X Men that came in the new update and the hardest one to obtain because he's only available in the X Gene Selector. I think that Magic is pretty interesting. I think her power level is probably above her brother Colossus, uh, possibly better than Emma Frost when all is said and done, but I'm still speculating, so don't take that too seriously. Uh, but I think if you do have any interest in the character and you want to invest in her, I think she's going to reward you. She's fun to play. She's got a mixture of physical and energy attacks, even though she's an energy-based character from her main stat page. She's got summons, she's got a self-heal, she's got transformation, so the animations look really cool. And she just plays a lot like a physical energy character as a blast type, so it's kind of an interesting combination. Um, in addition, just keep in mind that because you can only get her biometrics from the... Uh, X genes daily it's gonna cost real money uh, so you're better off using that to get her on the first day or the first purchase uh, with the first 20 unlocking her at one star and then using rank up tickets or a mega rank up ticket to rush her to six stars and then use the rest of the days to slowly build up her gears and then use a tier 2 ticket that is the optimal way for any uh, kind of paywall character like 2099 enchantress etc to be built up rather than just collecting 600 bios over a month it's just chaos but what do you get from magic a very cool character uh, i think her strengths lie in her flexibility and surprising durability she's got two iframes she's got a passive self heal that just triggers by you playing uh, she's got a five seconds of invincibility at tier one uh, and she's got a lot of nice aoe damage she also gets even tankier at tier two with 35 percent damage reduction just flat all the time in addition to super armor all defense and then some damage buffs Keep in mind that invincibility on her fifth skill will also give her super armor, so that's why you will notice that she's not getting guard broken as often. Um, but if you don't cast her fifth skill or you're fighting someone who has penetration of super armor, you will get guard broken. It's a bit redundant to give her super armor and invincibility. Not too sure why Netmarble did that, but that's okay. Her crit, her, uh, crit rate leadership is kind of something you can ignore. Um, but otherwise, she's pretty cool. She's got a summon here that you use primarily to take the attention away from you because the damage is not great, but they have a health pool. Uh, so max HP and all attack obelisks or CTPs, I guess, will benefit her summons, even though I don't recommend building the, her, the character that way. Her second skill is quite interesting. It's an iframe. It's got two seconds of stun and two seconds of bind. The way that it's worded, it looks like they activate at the same time, but they actually activate in succession. So you get the two second stun, and then right after the two second bind, or the other way around, I can't remember. But basically, it's a f almost a four second, it's just under four seconds of crowd control, which is really good for Shadowland. Um, her first skill is just a regular attack, but then it's her four star passive, which is quite interesting. Remember how I said she had a passive heal? Well, when she's just using any of her skills, after she's used three skills, she recovers HP. In addition to that, when she just uses a skill, she buffs her all attack, all speed, and crit rate by 10%. So she's just constantly walking around with 10% more attack, 10% more speed, including movement speed, and 10% more crit rate, which is great. So when you're building the character, you just need to be mindful of the attack speed and the crit rate. You don't want to build her with more than 65% crit rate. I don't know how you would possibly do that. But if you go over 65, when she buffs herself, you're going to waste that extra because the cap is 75. For attack speed, you don't want to go over 120 because the cap for attack speed is 130. Uh, in my case, I went and I rolled Power of Angry Hulk. I think it's okay because I think I'm at the cap for attack speed on this uh, build, 6.9. It might be a little bit higher. It's 7.7. .7. So I'm going to be over the attack speed by about 1 or 2% when all is said and done with her buff. That's okay. Uh, but ideally, if you want it to be super uh, min-max and you had more attack speed on your cards than I do, or you wanted to use some Uru or something like that, uh, you would roll overdrive for her. I think that's the optimal set for offensive capabilities. For defensive, you could go with something like uh, drastic density enhancement. But besides that, she's a very cool character. I don't really see where she has a huge glaring weakness, uh, aside from the fact that her uh, iframes, especially her third iframe, is very short and it's kind of in the middle, so it's hard to chain her iframes uh, in very quick succession. But otherwise, she's a very fun character to play and she deals surprisingly good damage even at tier one. She's especially good in Shadowland. She can solo uh, even at low stars, I would say. 
Uh, not that you'd have her necessarily at three or four stars, but I think that's possible. And we've already seen some videos of her popping up at tier two, being extremely tanky with the right build. Right now, I'm kind of uh, torn on whether to build her offensively or defensively. Uh, I think that you could complement her uh, HP heal that she gets on her uh, mixed magic by giving her some kind of a max HP set. So you could go with a refinement CTP, or you could go with a max HP, max HP obelisk with invincibility. Um, I don't know about a damage proc. She'd probably want to time it with her fourth or her fifth skills, as you'll see. I think her fifth skill is the one to bet on. Another thing that I just want to point out for you is don't cancel her fifth skill. Uh, unless you see that you're about to get debuffed and you're about to take major damage, letting her fifth skill ride out and letting the animation play out actually lets all of the damage out because she continues to kind of jam her blade into the ground and she keeps sending these waves of energy out and if you cancel it too early you'll miss a lot of that damage. I'll show you guys when we jump into some gameplay. Uh, so keep that in mind as well for the character but I think uh, that is a, a, a viable option for her with max HP or with a refinement CTP. You could also go with something like uh, destruction because of the fact that she doesn't have any kind of penetration if you wanted to boost her offenses, although she, I don't think she needs guard break immunity given the super armor, given the invincibility, given the iframes. But uh, we'll have to wait and see just how strong she gets at tier 2 and what she's capable of. And you guys can of course let me know what you think of her and how you've used her uh, thus far. I actually want to try her in the new rift that we have, these new rift bosses. I know that uh, Black Dwarf can be a bit troublesome. Uh, we just need to keep in mind that we have some physical attacks, so that's going to not penetrate his shield. But I want to see if she can just solo this, basically. Uh, I don't want to use anyone else to help her. I have her gears at 15. I only have her fourth gear at uh, almost 20. I think it's at 19. I just want to see. I'm going to waste the energy here if we lose this. I want to see how far she can go. Uh, keep in mind as well, if you're interested, I did update the master or the CTP master list with the new characters and my opinions on the CTPs for them. So if you want that information, go check that out. I've left a link below to the original Google Drive uh, sheet. I'm going to open with the fifth skill. You can see there that if you just let that run, it's going to continue to um, deal damage. And if you cancel it, on the other hand, it's going to not continue to deal damage. So if I just go here and I cancel it, you can see that those kind of blasts that she lets out from her uh, fifth skill sword kind of disappear. So it's definitely something... Oh, get out of the way. It's definitely something that you want to remember. Uh, whereas with a lot of other characters, you're encouraged to cancel your skills, not with magic. And I actually find that super refreshing in the best way possible. Um, that standing there and kind of being a target uh, and embracing the attack and kind of where you've chosen to uh, make your mark uh, is the way to go in that situation uh, or just to get the most out of the skill. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of tired as you guys know if you watch all my videos of characters where you just spam all of their abilities um, and it's nice to see a character like uh, Magic who you have to kind of ride out your decision uh, get out of the way, I don't want to get hit by that to uh, reap the benefits, you know, I think more characters like this, it's almost like a channeling skill, man, it looks so cool too, um, I, w I wish there were more characters like that, so those skills have have uh, physical, there's her energy attack, I didn't have enough time to um, crack his shield, but you can see my little dogs there, my little pets, uh, spitting their poison damage it looks like, and uh, oh dear, so we're going to take some damage here, but we're going to be able to, okay, uh, hopefully heal back most of the way. I do want my pets to take some uh, kind of uh, attention away from me. We're doing pretty well though, both on the damage front uh, and on the uh, front of time, because we're killing him pretty quickly, but here we're going to run into some issues. Okay, we're just going to fifth skill again here and see just how much we can... Woo! Nice. So I have no doubt that, uh, yeah, I think her fifth skill is really the one to uh, time that damage proc with. Wow, that's a lot of damage uh, when all is said and done. He's toast. Tier 1, mostly 15 gears, no obelisk. All she's got is power of angry help. Uh, that's nice. And he's just going to kiss this goodbye. You're done, bro. So, yeah. Love the channeling. Love the transformation. So cool. Uh, some of the best animations of any character in the game. Uh, very, you know... They really embraced the character design with this one. 
I have a lot of fun playing with her. Uh, if you do try her and if you do have her, keep in mind that against someone like uh, Infinity Thanos or Thanos in general, she's going to struggle a little bit because he can debuff her fifth skill. So you can't just stand there and uh, channel if he's going to use that kind of pulling attack or if he's going to throw those blue uh, orbs at you you will uh, get debuffed, and then it's going to make it a lot harder to clear. I'm going to actually try it here now as the last one using my tier 2, uh, recently tier 2 uh, Star-Lord. I'm going to give her damage uh, just to try to get this over with quickly to see kind of what her upper range would be if she was properly buffed. But just keep that in mind that she is debuffable, kind of like Carnage, kind of like Scourge, and those other characters that have a fifth skill with invincibility. So I don't want uh, you to be too... Um, surprised or, or kind of uh, taken aback and disappointed in the character if you uh, tried to use that. But you can definitely use her uh, summons to take attention away from you. If you stop attacking Thanos for a little bit and you allow your summons to uh, attack him, he will uh, attack them and then he won't. See, I just got debuffed. That's really bad. So I got debuffed there. Uh, so this is going to make the fight a lot harder because I lost the tier 2 passive from Phil Coulson, I lost the leadership bonus, I lost basically all my little goodies. And I have to get out of the way here, I have to get punched in the face, but let's just see, let's just keep it going. We've already gotten to the second phase in about 40 seconds, which is really nice, you can see the damage there uh, piling on from the, we're going to get debuffed again here, really bad, but let's just keep riding it out, still pretty decent damage, got debuffed again, got punched, not nice. Let's just see if I can actually heal myself back up. I don't know. Can I? Okay. Because if I keep spamming skills, I will be able to heal back up, right? All right. Let's just let's just ride this out. Come on, Angel. I mean, Magic, <laughs> Angel. I think she's so good. I'm reminded of, of Angel and how good he was at tier one. Uh, and she looks like an angel, so it basically makes it make sense. When you switch out and switch back, you will uh, re-obtain that um, uh, effect. Oh dear, I'm in trouble. You will obtain. You will re-obtain the. Uh, no, no, please. He debuffed me again. I'm sad. Uh, you will re-obtain the, the tier two effects that you missed out on. So can you just go into your? Um, can you please just go into your... No, no, dude, 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 not cool. You We will re-obtain the, the, the tier 2 passive effects, leadership effects, and other bonuses that you missed from being debuffed. So in that case, you can always switch back uh, and kind of see uh, the stuff come back to you and see... Uh, not see, but anyways. You know what I mean. No, please, don't kill her. She's my special one. I'm gonna get debuffed here again. No, 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 please. No, no, stay away. You can do it, ma magic. I believe in magic. Nope. No iframe for you. No! Okay, so she died there. Uh, I was a bit reckless. I think if I had been a little bit more careful, uh, especially given all the times that I got debuffed and I kind of just rode with it. Uh, if I had also been able to cancel Thanos out of his meteor shower a bit more consistently which you can easily do with her second skill it's a little bit harder with her third skill because it has a delayed iframe but definitely with the second one it's a very easy uh, instant iframe but those are my initial impressions and gameplay footage from magic and her damage output is fantastic and kind of the skill interaction so just keep those things in mind when you're playing with her let me know what you think of the character if you have her at tier 2 how far you've pushed with her in something like Shadowland I had a lot of success with her on the live stream in Shadowland recently subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me and of course if you like what you see I hope to see you again tomorrow take care